Today I made $289 doing this order, but was it worth it? It's DDK and I'm back with another video ski. Hey, we about to pull up and get this dough, G. Now, we got our first order. We about to pull up and get an order. We are going to Home Depot so we can stack these chips like Pringles. And this is on an app called Rody 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 with a Deborah Ranch. This is on the Rody app. We're about to pull up and get to this money, no cap. We are going to Home Depot. We are picking up a door. We're going to drive five miles for $37.56. We're about to pull up and get in the mix. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at Home Depot. And it's still dark outside, but we're here to slide. we here to slide, baby. Slide? I think it's right over here. Uh, yep, right here, baby. Y'all see what's going on. We got this dope. We gotta pull up so we can slow. See, this is the reason why, because it's, it's, I ain't got that step, so I gotta, put that joint up there, I gotta ooh, get up here like this. Lay it down, lay it down. Let it go down. What? You gotta cover it, cover it, cover it. See, this is why you need that step, man. It gets critical sometimes. It gets critical sometimes. But we are here to grind because we love to shine. I ain't used to this truck. It's definitely not as much room as the other one. Definitely not. Ugh. And just like that, you see we got it strapped up. Now it's time for us to pull up so we can uh, run it up. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at the drop off. We about to put this joint right here on this wall. We came here to ball and I saw. I noticed another thing. My business partner just told me this that I didn't notice before. There is another thing that I dislike about this van. And that is, it not only doesn't have a step, it doesn't have a bar either. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. I woke up this morning, I can't complain. It's a beautiful house, by the way. You're welcome. my glove in the man. Right, put it right down there and I'll bring it in the house. You want me to leave it uh, laying like this or? Yeah, I'll just grab it for me. I'll just put it right in. Thanks boss. You got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. All right. Thank you so much. You know, I have to take a photo really oh, quick. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. So you have a good one. So let's continue our conversation. As you guys can see, this does not have the step. So on our van, it's a step like right here. So you put your foot right there and then you go up in the van. We also have a handle on this side. It, it probably was supposed to be right here. You see them little holes right there. A handle on this side, as well as a handle on this side, which help us get inside the van, pause. So you actually have to use all your leg muscles to get up in this joint, <clears throat> like that. Cause you ain't got nothing to hold on to, pause. But that's what I was talking about. Don't forget, we want the money out the cloud. Let's get it. Order number two, pull up and get this money is what we about to do. This one is on dispatch. We are picking up 28 items. We're gonna drive 145.7 miles and we will receive a payment of $289.22. Enough money to pay the rent. Again, we ride around the bins with no tent. Let's go. We are here. I don't know where to go, what to do. I'm supposed to stay there too. Hello. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Ooh, ooh, I'm a little early, baby. I know they don't open till nine, but they ain't here. How you doing, boss? I have an order to pick up. Um, seven nine one eighty six. Get the van right. Yeah. I'm sure we'll okay. All right. Thank you. <coughs> my guy about to get me right, so I get my pockets tight. What's up? Now I'm talking to the camera. Talk to the camera. This cookie dough, right? Yep. Yeah, this cookie dough, we trying to get dough. Okay. Uh, go in a little bit more. Try to get between wheelbarrows if you can. Perfect. So you want me to sign the bottom, you said? Yeah. You go boss appreciate it. you have a good one <clears throat> and just like that we got this joint strapped in now it's time for us to pull up to indiana so we can get these dividends let's go
just like that, it's time to drop off so we can knock their socks off. We're trying to ball like hot sauce. Told us to come to this back door. This is only good in this joint. Somebody think I got some light. I mean, we are dropping cook day off, so I don't know what they got going on in here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. How you doing? I have. <laughs> I said, excuse me, 30 times. I have a drop off to you guys, some cookie dough. I'm supposed to drop off some cookie dough here. Okay, how many do you got? It's just, it's 20, I think it's 28 boxes, but it's on a pallet. Just one pallet? Though? Yeah. Okay. Yep, I will be right there. All righty, thank you. <coughs> Y'all know what's going on. We out here trying to get it on. Can you just kind of pull like sideways? Oh, sideways? Yeah, Wait, just so when I come out. Yeah. Because this dip right here. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. I don't want to hit your there the back of the What's your name? Becky. Becky. B E C K Y. B E C K Y. Now we gotta step back in with the photo. You already know though. Smack. We go. I'm good to go. Thank you. You have a good one. And just like that, it is the end. We went out there to get those dividends. We went to Indiana and came back. It was time to spin. Now, it took us five hours and 45 minutes to do that one order that we made $289. We also had to drive 145 miles. My question to you is, is it worth it for you? Would you do it or would you not do it? Am I tweaking or am I not tweaking? I do want to say this. I get a lot of comments about uh, different gig apps saying that a lot of these apps aren't worth it. These apps are trash. They're terrible. You should never do that order. I would never do that order. Look, you cannot rely on these apps to make your money. That's, on, that's all on you. If you claim you're a business owner and you claim that you got this cargo van business or this delivery business or all these different businesses, it is all on you to keep stuff in the back of this van or the back of your car. It's all on you. You cannot blame the gig gas because it's not their fault. It's your fault because it's your business. So just go ahead and say you hustling. Just go ahead and say it. Don't say that you a business owner and all that stuff, but you whining and complaining and uh and getting mad and oh, doing all the extra typing and all that stuff because you are not making any money doing the gig apps with the gig apps it's going to be an up and down thing i recommend it if you want to start this business like you say you do um use the gig apps as a side thing don't you don't make the gig apps your main source of income because for the most part unless you get a dedicated route it's not going to go very well for you honestly because it go up and down up and down so me I'm not a business owner. I'm out here just hustling. I'm out here just showing you guys different avenues to make money. That's my job. My job is to get these vehicles, drive it around, make money, show you guys different apps, and show you what I made by the end of the day. And that's my journey. I'm taking you guys on my journey. So I appreciate all the love and support, but I also do want to say that to all of the people who have negative comments to say about these gig apps, because the gig apps are just middlemen. That's all they are. They are they're middlemen. So it's a company, then it's the gig app, then it's us. So the whole purpose of everything is to cut the gig gap out and let them know you want the money out the cloud. That's the purpose of everything. So that's why you can start in the beginning stages doing the gig apps, learning different stuff, learning how to deliver different things so you can get better and better over time. But you also gonna have to put in a lot of grind. And that ain't just you riding around in this van getting them bands. You also gonna have to go to different businesses, promote yourself, get out business cards, and also make sure you go check out that Mark the Mentor channel. He got a lot of information on, he, he doing, right now he's doing a cargo van week. He's talking about number cargo van. So if you wanna get a cargo van or you already got a cargo van, he's talking about all the different things you could do with the cargo van. And he's very informative. He got a lot of information over there. So make sure you guys go check out his channel because he's gonna tell you everything because he used to do deliveries and uh, moving and all that stuff. So he know a lot about this business. He been in it for a long time. So make sure you go check that out. But again, do not blame everybody else for your problems. It is not the gig app problems. The gig apps is doing what they're supposed to do. If you was in their position, would you do the same thing they're doing? Or would you try to pay, would you try to pay your drivers all this extra money or would you do what they're doing and make your money? It's not the gig apps job 
to pick, keep stuff in the back of your vehicle. So that's all I want to say. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you lock in tomorrow because it's going back down because we ain't playing around because all 2024, all we're doing is put up the uh, skull. But guess what? We got to go. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it. It's DDK and I'm on my way.